morning, everybody. It is about six minutes after seven on Wednesday, January 31st. It is the last day of the month. can't believe this first month has flown by. But anyways, I'm just up to start the vlog. Um, I have a busy day ahead of me. I have to go out later this morning. And then cross my fingers, I have choir practice tonight. But anyways, um, I hope you all are having a great morning morning, afternoon, night, wherever you might be, and I will check in soon. Hey everybody, it's now 11.30. Uh, sorry for the lack of updates since my first clip, but I really haven't did anything. Anyway, here's something cute. Hi. Please say hi. You're so good. Hi. 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 You're so good. So good. So good. So good. <laughs> Anyways. I hope you're all having a great day, and I will check in soon. But wintry weather is looming. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ken Saunders. And I'm Kimberly McBroom. We have some breaking news to tell you about right now. A train that carrying Republican members of Congress to their retreat at the Greenbrier in West Virginia has hit a truck in Albemarle County that's in Crozet, Virginia. The White House confirmed that report and said there are not any fatalities reported. Vice President Mike Pence is scheduled to address that retreat this evening. We're told that one congressman has tweeted that he is fine. We'll, of course, bring you more details on this wow. and them. President Trump used much of his first State of the Union address last night to bring attention to his achievements during his first year in office. And the president also tried to push a message of unity in his speech. The Democrats don't appear to be buying it, and Adoba has reaction. The state of our union is strong because our people are strong. President Trump touted his accomplishments during his first State of the Union address. Since the election, we have created 2.4 million new jobs. And he laid out what he believes his duty is as President of the United States. To defend Americans, to protect their safety, their families, their communities, and their right to the American dream. Because Americans are dreamers too. That line in particular rankled Democrats were fighting to protect undocumented right immigrants right. from this country as children and are sometimes called dreamers. The president presents himself as a generous toward dreamers, but he's holding them hostage to the most extreme anti-immigrant agenda in generations. The White House says Mr. Trump's speech was supposed to be a unifying message that cuts through partisanship, but Democrats found little in the message to cheer about. Many sat in stony silence throughout most of the address, and they particularly bristled when the president equated immigration with gay and drug violence. And I think that that was very disappointing when you always equate immigration with the worst of people. But not every Democrat remained seated. West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin frequently rose for applause. You know, just to sit there and frown is not going to fix anything, so let's, let's embrace each other and try to make it work, and what we disagree, we can work through that. A CBS News poll shows three out of four Americans who saw the speech approve of the president's message. And it goes on CBS News, Capitol Hill. Former sports doctor Larry Nassar is back in court today facing more alleged sexual abuse. You never did get the judge said today that a total of 265 people that. come forward and say that they were his victims. This case in Eaton County, Michigan, concerns the violation allegedly of genders at an elite club run by an Olympic coach. Dozens of women are expected to read their statements over the next several days. Nassar will then be sentenced again. Last week, he was sentenced as many as 175 years in prison after a similar hearing. Everybody, it's 3.30, and I just woke up from a nap. Um, I really haven't did anything today. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I have the intention of going out today, but I'm going tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a good day. I see my therapist, and I'm excited. So, um, but that's it for now, and I will check in soon. Hey everybody, uh, it's five minutes after five, Um, uh, I'm just hanging out before dinner, um, I've just had a, kind of a lazy day today, um, I did this vlog with at the intention of thinking I had choir practice tonight, but I don't, so this is kind of going to be a chopped up vlog probably, but 
I'm still going to post it anyways. Anyways, I am hanging out until dinner, and I will check in after. I was just trying to get my cat to play with some catnip for some entertainment, but it didn't work. Um, it is now 10 minutes after 8, and I'm recording my last update for the day. I hope you all have had a great day today. If you like what you see, please thumbs up the video and comment below. If you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. <laughs> It would mean the world to me. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.